Welcome to Ocean Box Designs. It's Phương here. Today we're gonna learn how to set up your micro reef with the Ocean Box Designs Micro Tank Audison P1G. Stick around. First, set your micro tank stand on your preferred tabletop or desktop. Next, set the micro tanks on the stand. Don't worry about alignment for now. You can still move the tank later if necessary. Now let's prepare your filter media caddy. Remember to rinse your carbon before use to get rid of any carbon dust. In your micro tank kit, I included one bag of carbon and two filter pads enough for one month run. To maximize filtration, the dual density pad included has a loose and dense fiber side. Make sure the loose fiber sides face up. Hold the filter media caddy by the front lip and insert it into the overflow chamber. Next, insert the plastic screen before adding your rocks and sand. This acts as a protective layer for the acrylic from getting heavy scratches. Now it's time to add your sand and rock scape. For this video, I'm going with a simple skip, but in a future video, I will go more in depth on how you can create your own custom rock skip. Here are a few illustrative examples for inspiration. Here I'm being extra careful not to touch the sides of the tank to avoid scratching the acrylic. Don't worry about getting your level right at this point. We're gonna adjust that later. Let's set up your heater and controller. Insert the heater into the heater chamber. Insert the temperature probe from your inkboard controller into the return chamber. For temperature, I set mine to 78 with the low and high point at 76 and 82 respectively. Now's the time to plug in your heater and return pump with the provided USB power supply. Adjust your nozzle upward to increase surface agitation. Keep in mind this will also increase evaporation. And now that we have flow, it's time to fine tune your water level. You may have to fill up or remove some water till the level in the filter overflow is above the media tray about 3 quarter of an inch. Now 
Now let's install the nano LED light. The light should be installed on the overflow side and not the return chamber. Finally, we can place the filter and display area covers on. One last thing, let's wrap it up by tidying up all the cables with the included clip. Your micro tank is now ready to be cycling. Here's the final setup. Let's take a moment to adore this micro reef ready for the next stage. hope you enjoyed this video I have more videos coming up for this micro tank build so stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one